Baseball has a history of superstitions, such as the Curse of the Bambino, which allowed Boston Red Sox fans to believe they would never win a World Series. But some players take superstitions on a more personal level. The game of baseball is a sport that is rich in history and in superstition. Players believe that a certain ritual may help the way that they play. I started chewing gum three years ago and now it's to the point if I don't chew gum I feel like I'm not going to do well. A study from Northwestern University says that to have a superstition in a game can lead to helping a player gain better control of his performance. Reed is not the only player on his team to feel this way. If I do well the day before I try to repeat everything I did the day before for the game like eat the same stuff, try to get the same off sleep, play the same video games. It is almost impossible to determine how a player will perform or if these rituals help. But regardless of the outcome, many players swear by them. A pre-game routine when I pitch, I e either drink a Starbucks Frappuccino or a Starbucks Double Shot. Some habits are normal, while others can be bizarre. But when a win or a loss is at stake, players will do anything to keep their heads in the game. Baseball is a really mental game. But the best thing is that if you not think about it, it's mental, but you don't try to overthink. Because when you overthink, you overanalyze, and you just do mistakes that you wouldn't normally do if you were feeling comfortable. Whether it's a silly rule from the past or a unique guideline created by a player, rituals are a staple in the game. With photographer Dog Amdam, I'm Jimmy Geffro reporting for Studio One. The curse of the Billy Goat superstition still lives for Chicago Cubs fans. It began when a fan's pet goat ran onto the field during a World Series game back in 1945. Now some fans claim because of that, the Chicago Cubs wouldn't play in a World Series game ever again, and they haven't.